Billionaires always make the public admire their luxurious lives and their lavish ways of spending money, one of which is spending huge amounts of money owning extremely luxurious private jets. Traveling freely to the most wonderful destinations on the planet in a luxurious private jet will certainly be a unique experience reserved only for the elite. Each billionaire's plane has its own style with different levels of luxury and prices. Although owning a private jet is a privilege, the demand in the market continues to grow strongly and the demand for luxurious items has been reaching unprecedented levels. To meet the needs of this luxurious customer group, personal jet manufacturers such as Gulfstream, Bombardier, or Embraer are racing to launch luxurious features and new technology for their aircrafts. Besides, many wealthy customers like to convert Airbus or Boeing commercial aircrafts into personal jets. These aircraft cost from tens to hundreds of millions of dollars. Owning a private jet also requires consideration of many factors besides money, such as speed, comfort, airport costs, crew and maintenance costs. However, elite owners will be concerned about how far the plane can travel before having to refuel. That's why long-range private planes are always sought after. Today, we invite you to join Luxury Style for a close-up look inside the world's top seven luxurious personal jets of billionaires. Number one, first of all, the Airbus A380 of Saudi Arabia's Prince Al-Walid bin Talal. Currently, this is the most expensive personal aircraft in the world. Airbus A380 was ordered by the Prince at a record price, over 500 million US dollars. Of that amount, 380 million is the purchase price of a regular A380. After that, the Saudi billionaire spent more than 200 million US dollars on customization, according to his own preferences. The most expensive decoration is the plating of gold leaf worth up to 60 million US dollars into the aircraft interior. This makes the Saudi Prince's superplane the most expensive private plane in the world. A German company was hired to make the interior for the Flying Castle. According to the design, the two-story superplane has a concert hall, a garage for two Rolls-Royce cars, a horse stable, a camel barn, and a hawk cage. At the request of the owner, the aircraft has a spacious lounge with 25 flight attendants, a marble dining room with a capacity of 14 people, and a bar with curtains in the style of an Arab tent. Moreover, the plane also has a mosaic depicting desert scenes, a cinema with leather seats having the same color as sand dunes, a series of bedrooms connected to the flight attendant's room via a modern communication system and a gym with equipment purchased from the famous Nautilus company. The most special thing on the plane is that the prayer room can rotate so that the owner can always face Mecca. With a super comfortable interior for businessmen, it is predicted that this aircraft will start the trend of doing business at altitudes of over 12,000 meters. Prince Al-Walid bin Talal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud is the richest man in the Middle East and ranked 29th on Forbes' list of world's richest people. Prince Al-Walid bin Talal, 62 years old, studied business administration in the U.S. At the age of 30, after receiving large subsidies from his family twice but not being able to build a career, he was given a house instead of cash to start his own business by his father. The turning point in his life began here, when he rented this house for money to invest. Since then, Prince Al-Walid bin Talal has gradually walked the path to becoming a billionaire, with his investments in many parts of the world. He is the manager of Kingdom Holding Company and a major shareholder of a series of famous corporations, from Twitter, Apple, Amazon, to luxurious hotels around the world with assets worth 18 billion US dollars. Number 2. Airbus A340-300 A Russian billionaire, Alisher Uzmanov, ranked 34th on the list of the world's richest billionaires with assets worth more than 15 billion US dollars. Alisher Uzmanov 
owns a super private jet worth up to 350 million US dollars. Like Saudi Prince bin Talal, the real value of the Airbus 340 300 is 238 million US dollars. But billionaire Alisher boldly spent more than 100 million US dollars redecorating the interior according to his preferences. This Airbus 340 300 has four engines, is only smaller than the Airbus 380, and is capable of operating on long journeys. This is currently the largest private plane in Russia, surpassing President Vladimir Putin's Ilyushin I-1-96. Alisher Uzmanov's Airbus A340-300 is 64 meters long, 17 meters high, and weighs about 130,000 kilograms when empty. Billionaire Alisher Uzmanov named his jet Borkan. He removed the interior of the jet as well as installed a security system capable of resisting attacks. Billionaire Uzmanov was born in 1953 in a small town called Chust in Uzbekistan. His childhood dream was to become a diplomat, so in the following years he devoted all his attention to studying. When he went to college, Uzmanov went to Moscow and pursued a career as a famous politician. Things changed completely when he was accused of fraud and sentenced to eight years in prison. After six years in prison, Uzmanov was released from prison early on the grounds that the original verdict was unfair and lacked many important evidence. Since his release from prison in 2000, Uzmanov has no longer pursued his desire to become a diplomat. He turned to business and became an entrepreneur. Thanks to his ingenious business sense, Uzmanov quickly became rich and became friends with Russian President. Vladimir Putin. He owns Comment Newspaper with a regular publication volume of 131,000 copies per period. His fortune comes mainly from mining and metallurgical corporations and multi-industry investments. He is a major shareholder in Metalloinvest Group, a leading metal mining company in Russia. He owns the Commerzant Publishing House and is co-owner of the second largest telecommunication group, Megafon, in the Platinum Country. Uzmanov is also known for owning Mail.ru Group, the largest internet provider in Russian-speaking community, globally. In addition to owning large domestic mining corporations, Uzmanov is also very bold in investing abroad. He is the largest shareholder of Digital Sky Technology Fund and holds shares in many other famous companies and businesses. Russia's richest billionaire also holds 30% of the shares of Arsenal Football Club. Number 3 Air Force One, Boeing 747-8I, of the U.S. President. Air Force One is the plane that carries the U.S. President, used for domestic and foreign trips. This aircraft is known as one of the safest aircraft in the world, with many modern features and equipment. Boeing 747-8I is a newly improved version of the Boeing 747 aircraft line, expecting to go into operation in 2024. This aircraft costs up to 5.3 billion U.S. dollars, designed to fly in the worst security conditions like nuclear war. Air Force One, the U.S. president's plane, has elevators that can be deployed or folded at the front and back doors of this plane. This allows Air Force One to land at any airport, even those without elevators or unsafe elevators. The plane carrying U.S. President Joe Biden is 70.6 meters long and has a wingspan of 59.6 meters and a height of 19.3 meters. Maximum takeoff weight is 360 tons, with four engines equipped inside. The speed of Air Force One is about 965 kilometers per hour, compared to other aircrafts today. The President has a private room with a bed, a bathroom, a gym, and an office. Most of the interior decorations on airplanes are handmade. If the Boeing 747-8i is put into use in 2024, Joe Biden will be the first U.S. president to travel on the new Air Force One. Number 4. Boeing 747-430 Custom of the Sultan of Brunei Sultan of Brunei Hassanal Bolkia has many valuable assets including a Boeing 747-430 aircraft worth more than 233 million U.S. dollars. The king was very meticulous in gilding many details inside his favorite child. The 747-430, custom, 
was initially only worth about 100 million U.S. dollars. But the Sultan of Brunei spent more than 130 million U.S. dollars decorating the aircraft's interior to become luxurious by gilding the details with gold. Accordingly, the living room, the bedroom, and the bathroom are all decorated with gold and lalit crystal. And even the sink is plated with pure gold. This is like a splendid villa in the sky. And it is also the largest of the three aircrafts that the king owns. Besides, the Sultan of Brunei also owns an Airbus 340, six smaller planes, two helicopters, and about 6,000 cars. His palace consists of 1,788 rooms, and he also built churches covered in gold and diamonds. Up to now, King Hassanal Bolkiah has still been one of the richest royal families in the world, with an estimated fortune of nearly 30 billion U.S. dollars. He used to be the richest person in the world, according to Forbes magazine, many years ago. His largest source of income comes from oil and natural gas reserves. King Hassanal Bokia is also known as a legend in Brunei because of his lavish spending. He loved gold so much that he played at the sink as well as the entire toilet in gold. He also brought a barber from the UK to Brunei to ensure his appearance was always as neat as he wanted. These things show that the king has never been afraid of spending huge amounts of money, even for basic necessities. Number 5. Boeing 767 of Billionaire Roman Abramovich Mr. Roman Abramovich's Boeing 767-33A ER jet is named the Bandit and is the mobile office of the former president of Chelsea Football Club, with total current assets of more than 12 billion pounds. Because he is very wealthy, he wants safety when traveling by plane to avoid the highest risks. Mr. Roman Abramovich spent more than 1.5 million pounds installing a missile interception system for the plane and had the same system as U.S. President Donald Trump's Air Force One. According to the British press, along with Air Force One, billionaire Roman Abramovich's bandit is considered the two safest special aircrafts in the world nowadays. The luxurious aircraft has enough room for more than 30 people, with three guest bedrooms, three bathrooms, a dining room, a living room, a library, a pantry, a crew and staff rest areas, and even a gold-plated banquet hall. In billionaire Roman Abramovich's fleet, in addition to the expensive and luxurious Bandit, there are also two other equally comfortable aircrafts of Boeing. The Boeing 767-300, worth 55 million pounds, and the 767-700, costing 60 million pounds. In addition to the fleet, billionaire Roman Abramovich also owns a fleet of up to three super yachts, one of which is the most famous one, Eclipse, costing nearly half a billion pounds and also equipped with the ultimate protection system, as modern as a warship and even a mini-submarine to rescue the owner if a major incident occurs. Number 6. Boeing 747-8I VIP of Hong Kong billionaire Joseph Lau With estimated assets of 10.2 billion US dollars, Hong Kong billionaire Joseph Lau is very willing to spend tens of millions of US dollars buying three diamonds for his seven-year-old daughter. Not only did he own huge assets, but he also bought a Boeing 747-8 VIP jet worth 153 million US dollars. This jet is equipped with many unique amenities, such as a spiral staircase, a wine cellar with more than 10,000 bottles, a gym, and a theater by Billionaire Lau. Billionaire Lau calls the Boeing 747-8 aircraft Dreamliner, and it is exclusively designed and equipped with the most advanced technology. The regular version of the Boeing 747-8 can transport 467 passengers. However, Joseph Lau has reduced the number of seats to make room for luxurious amenities for this special aircraft. The total space area of 747-8 VIP is up to more than 300 square meters, equivalent to a spacious apartment. Inside the Boeing 747-8 VIP, there is a 14-seat dining table a living room, a meeting room, and a luxurious bedroom. 
The Boeing 747-8 VIP aircraft was developed from the Boeing 747-8 passenger aircraft. While an ordinary 747-8 aircraft carries hundreds of passengers, the 747-8 VIP is designed to transport several dozen people. The Boeing 747-8 VIP model offers significant performance improvements compared to the 747-400 while flying farther and faster with less emissions, noise, and fuel consumption. Joseph Lau was born in 1951 and started his family's traditional business of manufacturing ceiling fans. In 1983, his company was listed on the stock market and this helped him earn $100 million when he was less than 30 years old. Having more than $100 million U.S. dollars in hand, Joseph Lau invested in real estate and the stock market. He owns 74.99% of the shares of Chinese Estates Group, the ninth largest real estate investment company in China. He is also the owner of the Lifestyle International Holdings Limited department store. Number 7. Kim Kardashian's Gulfstream G650ER Private Jet Kim Kardashian joined the billionaire club thanks to the success of her shapewear brand Skims. Her $150 million Gulfstream G650ER is Elon Musk's lookalike. With the interior furnishing and renovation of a few million dollars, Kim's private jet is even more expensive than the above technology billionaires. It has a brighter color scheme and a cashmere paneled interior. Meanwhile, the exterior is painted monochromatic gray to match her luxurious car and house. The G650ER is the long-range version of Gulfstream's G650, released in 2008. However, the ER, which goes 926 kilometers faster than the original, was introduced in 2014. Private jets are popular with rich people. Jeff Bezos also owns two types. The Skims founder said she worked with two designers to create her dream plane including Tommy Clements and Waldo Fernandez. Tommy owns Clements Designs, a company based in Los Angeles, USA, is known for its great charm and intimacy in interior design. Fernandez is also based in Los Angeles and holds Waldo's Designs. He has worked with many famous names such as Brad Pitt, Will Smith, and Elizabeth Taylor. During the tour, Kim Kardashian said, Normally, Planes are dark and lighter skin tones. However, my plane has a custom light wood color. I have a bathroom in the front and a shower room in the back. Each seat has its own phone charger. I have never dreamt I would own an airplane. I just want it to be like an extension of mine and an extension of my home. Kim Kardashian explained that the best, most interesting part of the plane is made of cashmere. Pillows, headrests, Airplane ceilings, seats, and overhead luggage compartments are all made from the expensive material. The Kardashians are famous for their lavish lifestyle and love traveling by private jet. In 2020, Kim Kardashian celebrated her 40th birthday by renting a private Boeing 777-200LR to a remote island in French Polynesia. The plane is designed with 88 VIP seats a lounge, and is operated by a company called Crystal Cruises. It is a nine-year-old 777, registered with license plate P4-XTL. In 2018, Kim Kardashian and her ex-husband, Kanye West, rented a Boeing 747 the day after Thanksgiving. Rental companies said that the 747 was not generally available to rent. It was privately owned. Their flight is expected to cost... $200,000 per hour. These are the seven most expensive jets of the world's super rich that Luxury Style introduced to you. What do you think about this? Please leave your comments below this video. See you again in Luxury Style's latest video.